Hey guys, so before we get started on the topic of today's video, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or elephants, I should say, plural. Um, I am so weak. My husband and I went to Target yesterday to get some salad dressing. I'm going to be doing a video about salad dressing in the future, so I had specific ones that I wanted to buy, so I got one at Walmart, one at Target, and I'm going to do like a salad dressing battle taste test thing. But anyway, um, as soon as we walked into the store, I saw this shirt hanging up in the clothing section and I was like, I love that. I have to get it. Um, so I grabbed it. They had one left, just one sitting there. And I looked at it and I was like, well, I don't know if this is the right size for me because sometimes the sizing is weird with Target clothes for me. Walmart, um, I can walk in there and I know exactly what to get, but they had one hanging there. I grabbed it. I went in the dressing room, fit perfect. And I said, you are coming home with me because I'm trying not to spend money on things that I don't need right now, but I had to get it. It was only $10. So it's wild fable, 10 bucks at Target. Yeah. So I couldn't resist because I do not need any more summer tops, but I figured when fall rolls around, I could layer a sweatshirt or a jacket or something over it and get more use out of it but um yeah so there's that and then also I do not have eyeshadow on something is going on with me guys I am getting problems with the skin in my eye area um I don't know if it's the eyeshadows that I used yesterday or what but last night I was taking my makeup off and my husband said you've got something going on with your eye and I couldn't see it uh, but he could from the angle he was standing and this morning when I got out of the shower I looked and I've got a, like a lump on my eye so I could not put any eyeshadow on today so it is what it is I do have other makeup on though so I'll list it all in the description box as usual but yeah right here I've got this red lump. I don't know what is causing it. It's not the Revlon Jelly Blender because that is silicone and silicone allergies are extremely rare. I think it might have been the one of the eyeshadows that I used yesterday, one of the ingredients in the eyeshadows because I hadn't used that palette in a long time and then all of a sudden after having it on all day long last night I had you know a red lump there. So Hopefully it won't take too long to go away because eyeshadow is my favorite thing. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's enough about that. Let's talk about the topic of today's video. So Dolly Parton is launching, launching her own makeup brand. It is coming out on August 22nd. It's called Dolly Beauty. Now, I don't normally like to use um, pictures in my videos because... It could get flagged for copyright, um, and if that happens, I will probably have to take the video down, but hopefully that's not going to happen. I see people use pictures in their videos all the time, and the videos don't get flagged. They don't get taken down or anything, so hopefully that won't happen to me either. But Dolly Parton, okay? Dolly Parton is known for wearing a lot of makeup. She always has, but... Um, and also, I should say that I don't listen to her music. I'm not a fan of country music. If you are, I'm sorry, but it's just not my thing. Um, so why am I doing this video? Because I think this could be a great makeup line. Now, Dolly Parton herself as a person, she is a very good person. She's got a good vibe going on. There's something, you know, I can usually assess somebody just by the vibe that I get from them. I know that's kind of judgmental or whatever, but she just, she seems like a really good person and I like her vibe and she is a really good person. Dolly gives back in so many ways. I love it when celebrities and wealthy people give back to somebody less fortunate than them. And Dolly has this is just a very short list of things and ways in which she has given back. She has given to uh, help eagles, which is awesome because that's our, our national 
bird in the United States is the eagle. Uh, she's donated money to books for children who, whose parents can't afford to buy books for their children. She's donated to a hospital. She's given away money for college scholarships. I, the list goes on and on and on. She has given to so many people in so many ways. So Dolly Parton has had many businesses in addition to, you know, being a performer. Um, she's had a perfume line. She's had a wig line. Uh, and she's, if you've ever seen her um, baking mixes, she's got like cake mixes and baking mixes now. But now she's launching a makeup line. And when I first heard about this, I was like, ooh, let's check this out. But there are so few pictures available. I'm going to include now uh, the only pictures that I could find, which was basically two. And then I'll come back and tell you what she's going to be launching. Okay, so she's going to be launching four lipsticks, a plum, a nude, a red, and a mauve. They're going to be $20, and that's actually a good price. And the reason why I'm saying that is if you go back and look at that picture and look at that packaging, packaging is hard for companies to do. And this is a very detailed, intricate packaging that is probably going to cost her an awful lot of money to have that made because all those little rhinestones all over the packaging, it looks super high end. And um, so, yeah, this launches on her website, dollybeauty.com on August 22nd. And I, I really, really want to try this so bad, you guys, but I don't know if I should because I'm not supposed to be buying any makeup right now. But, um, yeah, this looks very interesting. Now, what she has planned beyond these four lipsticks, I don't know. Maybe it's going to depend on how well this sells. But if you go to Trend Mood and look at the post that was on Trend Mood, um, the response has been super positive. People are excited about this. So I expect it to do well because... Even if you don't follow country music, everybody loves Dolly. She just has this charisma and this way about her. And like I said, she gives back to the world in general in so many ways that she's definitely a good person. But yeah, um, what do you think about this? Do you like the way it looks? I think it's beautiful and I have a feeling this is going to do very, very well. I don't know any more about it than what I told you. I did sign up on her website to have um, updates and information sent to my email when it happens, but it's launching next week, so there isn't a lot of time to get much more information on this. But um, I just wanted to let you all know about it because I thought this was very interesting. You know, there's so many celebrity makeup brands out there, but... I think this is going to be a good one. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing and 
you know what to do. It helps my channel when you do. And keep your fingers crossed that this video does not have to be taken down for copyright because of the pictures. I hope not. <laughs> Bye, guys.